I keep hearing Notre Dame fans talk about going to the playoffs this year. Like, well, if if we went out and we beat Stanford and and this team does this and who who do we need to lose uh to jump above this team and how can we uh how can we leapfrog such and such team and what if the Big 12 this or what 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 if the Big 10 that and oh well what if uh what if the Big 10 West wins the Big 10 and knocks out the entire Big 10 from the playoff you, you idiot Notre Dame fan, you, you Rudy loving, y'all are asking the wrong question. You're asking the wrong question. The question you should be asking is not what do we need to do to get into the playoffs? What teams need to lose for us to get into the playoffs? What team needs to take a doo doo in the final week of the season or conference championship week for us to get in? Those are the wrong questions. The wrong questions. The question that the Notre Dame man should be asking is, why would you want to get into the playoffs? Why does Notre Dame fans want Notre Dame to get into the playoffs? That doesn't make any sense at all. There has been several Notre Dame teams that have been good enough to get into the playoffs. Those teams were better than this year's Notre Dame team. And Notre Dame gets into the playoffs and what happens? They get blown out and it's not just the playoffs. Look at every single major postseason game that Notre Dame has been involved in since 1990. There, everyone is a loss. Every single BCS bowl game that Notre Dame got into, they lost and they got blown out. They made a BCS title game in 2012. They got blown out. They've made New Year's Six Bowls every single time. They've got blown out. They've made it into the playoffs not once but twice. Both times, they got blown out. Notre Dame is like 0-11 in major postseason games since 1990. And it's not, you know, not only are they losing these games, they're getting blown out every single time. Notre Dame's average margin of loss in major postseason games since 1990 is 25 points. Uh, the, the ACC championship game last year, blown out. Playoffs, blown out every single time. Every single time, blown out. And now here you are with a team that's nowhere near as good as the majority of those teams that got absolutely mollywopped when they made it into the uh, into a major postseason game. And you Notre Dame fans are running around trying to figure out a way to get Notre Dame into the playoffs. You know how Notre Dame could get, could get into the playoffs? Well, they could have beat Cincinnati. Oh, my God. Th there's an idea I don't hear Notre Dame fans talking about. You want to get into the playoffs? Beat Cincinnati. But no. You lost to since not only did you lose, you lost by two scores. At home. At home. You couldn't beat uh, Cincinnati at home. And what's funny is Notre Dame fans for years have been running around. Cincinnati don't deserve to be in the playoffs. The group five team, the strength of schedule, don't deserve to get in. Well, they beat the Badoodoo out of you. They beat the Badoodoo out of you. And right now, that's what's keeping you out. That's what's keeping you out is that loss. Notre Dame makes a conscious decision not to join a conference. It's not an accident. It's not that they want in, but no one will let them in. It's a Notre Dame decision. Notre Dame has chosen to play a 12-game schedule and call it quits. Notre Dame has chosen to not affiliate itself with any conference. I mean, they got one foot in the ACC in football, right? But they play what they play five ACC games a year. <sighs> not impressive. So you have to deal with the consequences, and the consequences of that decision is if you don't go 12 and 0, you're not getting in. Nor do you deserve to get in. Now, as a fan of, as a Georgia fan, which I am, hell, I want Notre Dame to get into the playoffs. Now, I don't think they should. Uh, I don't think they they deserve it. But as a Georgia fan, my, I'm guaranteed a playoff spot. Uh, Georgia could lose to Bama and still get in, which <laughs> we're not losing to Bama. Uh, Bama's horrible. Uh, so I know Georgia's going to the playoffs. So it would, I mean, shit, it would make me, I, I'd be happier in a pig in poop if Notre Dame got into the playoffs. Why? Well, because if Georgia got to play Notre Dame in the playoffs, it's about like having a bye. I mean, it's a guaranteed win. Uh, I can't think of a single team with playoff uh, aspirations still left this year that wouldn't love to play Notre Dame in a playoff game because Notre Dame has no chance to win. None. None. What, what's Notre Dame's best win this year? Wisconsin. Oh, oh great. Uh, who you, oh, you know what Notre Dame needs? A big win. 
Notre Dame needs a big win at the end of the season to overtake somebody. Well, who do you play this week? A three-win Stanford team? Holy moly. Don't lose to the tree. You better not lose to the tree, Stanford. What a terrible Stanford team. Yeah, that's going to impress somebody. Oh, you beat Georgia Tech last week. Wow. Wow, another three-win team. Notre Dame is piling up wins over these three-win uh, three teams. Hey, remember when you uh, beat Florida State in overtime? That was amazing. Seems like forever ago. Way back in week one. Yeah, that was impressive. Didn't you struggle with Toledo or Miami of Ohio or Akron or some podunk doo-doo uh, team? Yeah, you did. He's just not that good this year. So I, I don't understand why Notre Dame fans are running around asking all these questions. Well, what if this happens? And what if that happens? And do you think Notre Dame has a shot? That's the wrong question. The question you should be asking is, why would Notre Dame even want to get into the playoffs? They would get absolutely humiliated. Absolutely humiliated and destroyed, just like they always do. Just like they always do. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Can you see that? Yeah, these people out here playing cornhole. They're better at cornhole than Notre Dame is at football. <laughs>